Hello once again, Monster Hobbies, Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another of our unboxings of the 1910 figure series from ICM. And today we are going to be looking at American Sports Car Drivers. This set is really cool because it's one of the only ones ICM has so far at this point that actually has a female character in it. And she's also the driver of this cool sports car. Now this kit is intended for the ICM Model T Roadster race car, which looks like this. However, I did inherit a 1914 Stutz Bearcat MPC model, all built by my dad way back in the day, and there might be a possibility that these figures could fit in there. I'm going to carefully try it because I don't want to bust anything up in the future video. However, for now, let's just take a look at these mechanics with our good pal Danny the Dog. So here we have the American Sports Car Driver Set from ICM. And again, the wonderful artwork on the box looks really great. Here we have, much like with the truck, the semi-transparent car body itself, so you can see how the figures sit in and where the steering wheel would be and all the rest. Really, really cool from ICM. Let's take a look at the top of the box. The top of the box shows our two figures in a smaller size. Again, you can see the man with the white coat and the blue pants and the woman with the pink dress. ICM gives us this wonderful model in 124th scale. For ages 14 up, you will need paint and glue to get it all built. So now we'll take the lid off the box. And again, like these ICM kits, the lid is just really a top cover for the white pizza envelope style box that's underneath. Again, this saves ICM from actually making two distinctive boxes. Again, these are really tight to try to get out, but once you do, it'll look great. We hope. There we go. I keep ending up ripping these corners, so I've got to be careful. All right, so there's that flap here again. So just by opening this up, you can see the wonderful instructions, which Danny the dog will go over in a minute. And there's the plastic components underneath. Now you only get one sheet in here, but still, we'll take a look at how great it is. Hey everybody, this is Danny the dog once again with another instruction sheet review. So today we're going to be looking at the American Sports Car Drivers from 1910. And this is a blast from the past with lots of sport motoring fun when that hobby was just starting out and cars were quite the adventure to drive. So let me grab the pointer stick and we'll follow along. So what we have here is the man up here and the woman down here. These are all the components that would glue together for both figures. So there we've got the man with his arms and legs and torso, and then the face, his cap. Uh, I do believe those are some kind of goggles. And then we've got the back and his other leg. And there's the woman down there with the front and back, and the skirted legs, as well as the head and hat and legs here and different arms and different, uh, uh, I guess these are part of her dress. So these would all be blowing in the wind. Uh oh, a scarf. <laughs> That's what I mean to say. All right, so there's the colors that you'll see on the back and the different paints. And here we actually have a ratio. So 50% 301 and 50% 311 in the Ravels. Or you could use Tamiya X17. And then it tells you what all the colors are here. Trevor will probably paint this with Citadel paint, so maybe in a future video we'll be doing that. Now over on this side of the instruction sheet we can see the way they painted the man up there with the white motor coat, the light blue pants, and the white boots, as well as the leather gloves, and yes those were goggles up there. You can see his mustache and tie. And if we look at the lady down here, you can see the scarf going in the wind where my nose is, as well as her hat with the roses on the top. And her hands are on the steering wheel and she's learning how to drive the sports car. So that again is really, really cool. Now Trevor will show you the plastic components 
and then we'll end the video. Thank you, Danny, for that wonderful lead-in. So here we have the goggles and the cap and the man's face, as well as his hand pointing the way. And this looks like a little bit of fingers here. I'm not too sure. Well, I'll look at that closer up. There's the rest of his arm with a leather glove. And you got his back and the front, as well as his legs. And then here we also have the woman front and back, her legs in the dress, and then all the different hat components, as well as her head, and her hands on the steering wheel, and that scarf blowing in the wind, and her shoes. Now let's bring this up to the camera and just take a look at the wonderful detail. Again, you can see the lady's dress and sports coat, I guess. And then we've got the man's cap. Again, looks like you could actually see the stitching in there. It's so great. The face. And yeah, those are fingers. They're part of this hand here. So I guess I see him couldn't really mold his hand all the way around. But that's okay. A little bit of glue will fix that up. And then we've got the tie and the jacket. Again, really excellent stuff. This is what uh, motoring looked like back in the early days. We also have the roses on her hat right there. And then her face, which camera, there we go. Camera got that finally. And turning this over again, we can see that there are no mold marks. Again, this looks really great. The back of the legs are all the way around. Uh, the mold detail, I mean, really crisp. No seam lines down the middle. Again, really excellent kit. Well worth picking up if you get the chance. And these should fit a variety of different types of sports cars. I'm hoping it will fit in that uh, 1914 Stutz Bearcat from my dad. But we'll see as time goes on. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that look at our 1910 series ICM American Drivers and that you might find a good place for these models in your cars. If you want to check out what cars we have for sale, take a look at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And if you want to see another cool video, click on this one right here. You will really dig it, man. And if you enjoy all these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, everyone, happy model building.